For the zeal of thy house hath devoured me, and the reproaches of them that reproach thee have fallen upon me. And I covered my soul in fasting, and it was made a reproach to me. Hello, my friends, and welcome to True Heroes. Today we are going to look at the life of St. Francis Caracciolo, whose devotion to the Blessed Sacrament gave him the strength to carry all the crosses he had to endure during his life. Let us begin his story. Francis was born in the kingdom of Naples of the princely family of Caracciolo. In childhood, he shunned all amusements, recited the rosary regularly, and loved to visit the Blessed Sacrament and to distribute his food to the poor. An attack of a type of leprosy taught him the vileness of the human body and the vanity of the world. For those of you who don't know, the leprosy is basically your body is corrupting and disintegrating. And there's not usually, and nowadays there's there's a cure for it, um, but back then there certainly was not. Now this doesn't say that it was leprosy in and of itself, but a kind of type of it. So it's probably a sort of skin disease uh, that he had. And so he did not care really about material things or the world because his body was um, falling apart as it was anyway. When he was ordained a priest in Naples, he was miraculously cured of this disease, and he spent his leisure hours in the prisons or visiting the Blessed Sacrament in unfrequented churches. God called him, when only 25 years old, to found an order of clerks regular, whose rule was that each day one father fasted on bread and water, another took the discipline, a third wore a hair shirt, while they always washed by turns in perpetual adoration before the Blessed Sacrament. They took the usual vows, adding a fourth, not to desire dignities, so not to desire high positions or important positions. To establish his order, Francis undertook many journeys through Italy and Spain, on foot and without money, content with the shelter and crust given him in charity. Being elected general, he redoubled his austerities and devoted seven hours daily to meditation on the Passion, besides passing most of the night praying before the Blessed Sacrament. Francis was commonly called the preacher of divine love. But it was before the Blessed Sacrament that his ardent devotion was most clearly perceptible. In presence of his divine Lord, his face usually emitted brilliant rays of light, and he often bathed the ground with his tears when he prayed, according to his custom, prostrate on his face before the tabernacle and constantly repeating, as one devoured by internal fire, quote, The zeal of thy house hath devoured me, unquote. He died of a fever, aged 44, on the eve of Corpus Christi, 1608, saying, quote, Let us go, let us go to heaven, unquote. When his body was opened after death, his heart was found, as it were, burnt up, and these words imprinted around it, quote, Zelus domus tue comedit me, the zeal of thy house hath devoured me, unquote. From the life of St. Francis Caracciolo, let us learn to have an ardent love for the Blessed Sacrament, the sacrament of our Lord's divine love. Let us love him as we should, and visit and receive him as often as we can. Tomorrow is the feast of St. Boniface, an English Benedictine monk, who, because of his work in the country of Germany, was eventually named the Apostle of Germany. Until then, God bless you all, my friends. St. Francis Caracciolo, pray for us.